the banana and cocoa brownies. Um, so that's in the fridge at the moment, cooling down. Uh, so it, I left it, I took it out of the oven, it cooled down, and then I put it in the fridge. And uh, yeah, that's uh, it's going to firm up. It looks really nice. So tonight then, everybody, I am making, let me just uh, pop my kettle, because I need that for the rice. Well, tonight, actually, I'll, um, is the first night that I'm actually using a new pan. So this is the pan here. It is really huge. And um, yeah, it's 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 so good. I made a vegetable soup in it on Saturday and it's very heavy. So I'm gonna take the lid off and um, it's really, really good. So what we're gonna be making, for those that are just joining, we're doing a Belenese chicken. So uh, this is Belenese chicken and I can actually see who's watching now, which is fantastic as well, how many live viewers I've got. So Belenese chicken, uh, it's a Simply Cook recipe. If you don't know what Simply Cook is, Simply Cook is a subscription service. So make sure if you're getting any discount or anything, which is in the link above my head, where you can get uh, four of different recipes for, I believe it's one pound. Sometimes they do it for free if you're in the UK. And you get the flavour pots and we get the recipe card and they ask you then to go and buy the meat. In here we should have garlic cocoa paste, Belenese paste and curry garnish. OK, and then you buy everything else separate. But it's things that you should have in your cupboard anyway. So, um, yeah, so we're going to make this. So if you want the four recipes for one pound, go in the link. The link is above my head. Copy that link into a web browser and take out but make sure if you can make sure you, it is a subscription service so if you don't want them every month just cancel okay so you can get the offer and then cancel if you want to once you've received them um so for this recipe then let me um show you what now it says you can use naan bread but i'm not using naan bread i'm just going to use normal rice so if you can comment in the box that would be amazing so uh and then i'll show you everything you need so let me, I'm going to bring the camera down. Hopefully you'll be able to see. Okay, I seem to get everything in the correct place now. So uh, I do need to chop some green beans. So let me just bring this in. This is the pan, by the way. So you can actually see the pan very well. I'm going to get this heated up. And then I'm also going to just pour some water into, into my... 120 grams of rice instead of the naan bread okay so i'm going to put some water into there it's quite easy this recipe i'm going to show you what ingredients you need so i'm going to add some boiling water to my pan and then i'm going to turn that on okay so that's on that's going to boil away let me just give that a quick stir now this is on as well. So what I'm gonna do is add some oil to the pan. So let me know how the connection is everybody as well. Let me add some oil. So we're gonna add some oil in here. Now I'm not gonna obviously use the whole pan because <laughs> obviously the sensor's gonna get really hot soon. So the first step then is heat a little oil in a pan over medium heat and we're gonna fry some chicken. Now it says here, use four chicken thigh fillets for two people or six to eight chicken thigh fillets for four people. So obviously doubling it up. Now I decided not to use chicken thighs. I'm using um, chicken, just normal chicken, chicken breast, okay? So in here I've got probably enough. There's two large chicken breasts here, chop, um, you know, cut up. So that's probably, I'm not sure how many grams that is, but, um, I needed to save another chicken piece for tomorrow because I'm going to be making a chicken stew tomorrow. So we're just going to let that oil heat up. I do love this pan, <laughs> as I say. Um, so I'm not getting any messages through just yet. Let me just check. I've closed all my other apps. Okay. I've closed all the other apps down, so fingers crossed. I shall start getting some messages. So just give me a thumbs up if you can hear me, everybody. Uh, you're going to need one small onion, <laughs> I don't, so I'm not going to use all of that. You're going to need some coconut milk, so coconut milk. Uh, you're going to need some extra fine green beans, you know, 150 grams you need. And then you're going to need, um, as I say, 120 grams of rice. So let's open this up then. So this is the box you get. 
Let's open this up, open the goodness. I do like these. So we've got garlic coconut paste, garlic coconut paste, some Belenese curry paste, and some Belenese curry garnish. Okay, so I'm going to put that to one side. Let's chop up this onion. And get this cut up. Do I use that? No, I'm going to use the. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use this knife for a change. So. Um, Get the ends chopped off. So I'm only going to use half. I think I'll use about. I'll use half of this. Oops. Don't need it all. Put that to one side. Get rid of this. So this is the first time actually cooking on here using this new pan. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Okay, so you want to chop up the onion. So the first step is we're going to add in the chicken and the onions together. So we're going to we're going to fry the chicken and the onions for three to five minutes. So whilst that oil's heating up, let's chop this up. Let me get a proper knife. This knife. Okay. Um, so I'm not seeing any comments come through just yet. I don't know what that noise was then. That was quite a strange noise. And I'm just going to cut this lengthways. Oops. There we go. So that's the onions. So is this getting nice and hot? Yes, it is. Can actually move the oil around. It's going to be really interesting. So let's put in the chicken first. So, uh, thanks, Michael. I've seen your comment, but I'm not seeing any other comments come through. So we're going to add the chicken. Here we go. So this is the first time using this pan. This is the first time using this pan for meat. So it will get nice and hot. Quite big pieces of chicken there. This is a really good pan. Let me just um, see what I can do with the. Oh, we need to add the onions in as well. So let's add the onions in as well. So add all that in. So we've got the chicken and the onions in here. Okay. Just going to leave it to sit. Um, let me just try and move the camera slightly. Might get some messages. None of the messages are coming through at all. No. Let me just put a comment on. I'll just put hi. Oops. So just send a message if you're watching. Hi Alexis, hi Alexis. So we're using the new pan, it's huge this pan. So we put some chicken and we've got some onions in here as well. Okay. So we're doing Belenese chicken. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit as well because I'm not used to the, you know, normally with any pan that I have, this, this pan's going to take longer to heat up, but yeah, I'm really liking this pan. I think it's a lot better than the other one, don't you? Don't you think? I think that's a little bit of an understatement, really. But so it's cast iron. Okay, so once this it says here, once it's been fried, fry the chicken and the onion. We're then going to add in the garlic coconut paste. Okay, we'll see once all the chicken's cooked away. I don't know if I need to add a little bit more oil actually. We try not to use too much oil. But yeah, I think I'm gonna like this pan. I'm gonna I need some recipes though. Any recipes for a big pan like this? And I can even put it in the oven as well. I can even add it into the oven. Let me try and zoom in a bit. How do I zoom in on here? I forgot how to do that. Oh, I can't zoom in, can I?
think the comments are frozen again. Maybe that's only an issue on being on landscape mode, as I can't really see the comments. Serve my rice. I'm coming out and coming back in a minute. So the connection's poor now. And it says it's great. <laughs> I don't know. Can I zoom in? Yeah, well, let me zoom in. How do I zoom in? I know I'm thinking that as well, Alexis. I can see the comments now. It's coming through again. Maybe because I've been on a few times. I'm just wondering, do I need any any more oil in this? I've turned it up so that the pan is hot. Otherwise it will be cooking. But because it's a different pan, I need to get used to my uh, timings. I'm using a spoon. <laughs> Get a proper. Where's my uh, tongs gone? That's better. First time using this, you see. So. so I've got a question for you, Alexis. When it comes to even you're on the treadmill, I. Hi, Dean. Are you okay? Um. I've got a question. I've never used an, a cast iron pan before. So how easy is it to burn a cast iron pan? You know, and how high, what, what heat should I have it on? Should I have it on high, low, medium? Well, does it matter or can I have it on high? It won't burn. Gonna take longer for this chicken to cook. Do you like my new pan, Dina? Maybe I could even I can do this now as well. Just put the lid over it like that. Medium high. Okay, I'll turn it down a bit. It's cool, I absolutely love it. Oh, never high, okay. Right, never high, okay. Just making sure the chicken's cooked. Because there's quite big, these are quite big, thick pieces of chicken that I've put in here. Smells delicious, by the way. Smells delicious. Yeah, my rice. So with this, though, you can put this in the oven. So I need some recipes to be able to cook things in the oven. And cut some of these pieces of chicken. Oh, okay. Cast iron burns easily, so keep it low. Okay. Smells really, really good. My um, banana cocoa is in the fridge. My brownies are in the fridge. I put some cashew nuts over the top. 
It might take longer, but your pan will last longer. Okay. I think though this this pan is actually already about twenty years old. Maybe ten years old. Never mind, I'll make sure it's just cooked thoroughly. It's always strange though when you're using new things, things you've never used before, because you get used to cooking and then you're like, you know what, it's like if you get a new oven, you start thinking, that's a really big piece of chicken. Well, you actually said heat the oil in a pan, heat and fry the chicken for three to five minutes, and add the garlic cocoa paste. We're going to add in the garlo, garlic cocoa paste and stir quickly for one minute. I'm going to add this in and add it for one minute. And then we should wait until it starts to brown. I'm just wondering. Because we're adding in Balinese paste for three minutes and then adding the green beans to the pan. So I'm just going to give it an extra minute. I just like the chicken to be extra cooked. Do not do not use metal utensils on me now. I'll scratch it. Okay, sorry. I use wooden. Dina says I threw a cast iron pan out because I burnt it. Why well, haven't you used it until now? Might take longer. Turn the heat down once you've. I think I've missed the comment. I'm not sure what you. Not sure what you mean. And I feel I feel a bit away with the fairies today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Maybe it's because the weather's changing. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's a bit milder. I don't know. Okay, we're going to start to add. We'll add it in now because it's going to be another couple of minutes anyway. So we're going to add in, this is cocoa, garlic cocoa paste, garlic cocoa paste. So we're going to add this to the pan and we stir it quickly for one minute. So we drop all this in. Oops, I'm not allowed to use metal. And we're going to stir this in for one minute. This smells good. Stir quickly for one minute. The garlic is a co garlic coconut paste. Can you all see that, everybody? I think the rice is done, you know. I have made this one before, but it was a while ago. Okay, and then we're going to add in the Belenese paste. So Belenese paste, yeah, Belenese curry paste. So we're going to add this in, Belenese curry paste. I'm 
Evet. Turn off my um, <coughs> rice. About there a minute. So the curry paste. They've gone fuzzy. Why haven't you used the pan until now? Oh, I've just got it. I've just got it, Dina. Oh, it smells good. You can even see it better, can't you? See the pan better. I can't zoom in. I don't know how to zoom in on, on landscape. So it wants to go into three minutes. Delicious. Now let's get rid of these cups. I love Simply Cook, but I just hate all the plastic and I said it every time. So now we're just going to get the beans, because the beans are going to go in here next. We're going to add the beans. It says you want 150 grams of beans. How many have I got here? Some of these have got ends. Can't even remember how many I've got here. But I do need to uh, just chop the ends off of these. And we'll start, we'll add these into the pan. These need to be whole. So we're going to add these in. Because then we're going to add in. Some of these are not very nice. Has it come back now, Dina? loads in. I think these are meant to be cut up into threes. I can't remember last time. Just cut them in half. He's a good boy. Dean's a good boy. And then we're going to mix in the coconut milk next. Maybe we... Are we back on, Dina? We're going to add in the coconut milk. <coughs> Excuse me. Bit of delay on the comment. So let's add this in then coconut milk. Uh, and then we've got and a bit so let's add in the coconut milk. 400 milliliters you want. Let's give all that a stir. Oh this is looking good. And we're going to add in, this is the last thing we add in, is the filling of curry garnish. So we're going to let, so let's add this in. Oh, this is looking good. I wish I could pick this up. Can I pick this up? Is it hot? Yeah, it's really hot. Yeah, I can't pick that up, guys, to show you. Unless I bring you down a bit. I'll see. Let's give this a stir. So we're going to let this simmer. 
and it needs to simmer for about 10 minutes. Might add a few more beans to this. Okay, I'm going to put you back in there. Oh, oh, this looks good. Yeah, I'm going to add a few more beans now to this. And that's pretty much it, everybody. As I said, we're going to have the rice on the top. So, very easy. I might, I'll use all my. All my beans. What do we think? It smells delicious. I'm not seeing any comments. <laughs> they disappeared. Gina, send me a message on WhatsApp if you can hear me. See if there's any other comments coming through. Might grow some of these beans actually this year. We're just gonna let this simmer for ten minutes. Yeah, I am happy with that. I'll put a high again. So it's got 30 people watching. <coughs> Stick these beans a bit more. Need a clean scissors. Okay. That looks so nice. And if I put, if I, I can, so what I can do now is I can actually just put the lid over it. And that is all you've got to do is open it up. There's the curry. Don't know if I meant to put that over the top, but yeah, let that simmer away. Might leave the lid on for a couple of minutes. It'll just make that chicken really tender. I'll just give it two minutes. I just want to. See what happens with the lid on. Get it, get the temperature up a little bit on it. And also, then you can serve this with cashew nuts. So I've got some cashew nuts that I had earlier. Uh, I'll show you actually the. I'll put it in the fridge now. It's, it needs to go in the fridge longer, but this is the banana and cocoa. And I put some cashew nuts on the top, so it looks amazing, everybody. So I'm going to put it back in the fridge so it's. So hardens up a bit more. Oh yes. Oops. Oh them the smells coming off this. I suppose the thing is with this sort of um with these sort of lids is it keeps all that flavour compact doesn't it and keeps all the heat in so yeah, if you want any other, let's me go through. let me go through this. So yeah, it was garlic coconut paste, Belenese curry paste, and Belenese curry garnish. So a lot of, in the garnish, you've got coconut, red bell peppers, coriander, sunflower oil, curry paste. You've got things like onion juice, sugar, onion powder, crushed chilies, coriander kaffir lime leaves and crushed black pepper mm. there you go i'm not getting any comments it's weird i don't know if i should leave the lid on or not but um it smells amazing There's two more that I didn't cut up. They don't, they don't all meant to be cut up. But... Mm. 
I mean, sometimes you, a lot of people use cream. <clears throat> yeah, so mix in the coconut milk, gently boil, then reduce the heat. Oh, and reduce the heat. Okay. So gently boil it and then reduce the heat until the chicken is cooked. And then heat the rice as per the instruction and keep warm. So a little fact about this, it says... Um, Well, it actually says it's 720 calories per portion when serving for two. Uh, it says, take an inspiration from Bali's hawker market style curries to create our own coconut curry with galangal and kaffir lime leaf. Yep. Fragrant spices that are characteristic of Indonesian dishes. Hello, Linda. Your curry looks good. I'm doing a hello fresh. Got to put my phone on charge. Um, I'm doing a HelloFresh meal tonight. I had a box last week. I had another arrived today. Oh, wonderful, Linda. I'll, uh, are, you, are you streaming it? Are you going to stream it? Or... Yeah, this is looking really nice. Um, it's getting there. I've just turned the heat down. But yeah, if, if you'll have to send me a, a photo of your meal. I've also got some free boxes to give away as well. So if you're in the UK, I've also got three more boxes to give away. So if you're interested in Hello, this isn't that, this is simply cool. But if you're interested in Hello Fresh, I want to try it. And you're in the UK, you've not had it before. Let me know. I do shy. It's okay. Don't worry. You could just do what like me. I do is just have the camera on the. This is a new pan, by the way, Linda. Do you like it? I'm just wanting my uh, beans to soften a little bit. It's the first time getting used to this pan. This looks still, oh, <laughs> it looks, looks so nice. I don't know whether to put it on in a dish or onto a uh, plate. Mm, I think I'll put it into a plate, onto a plate. So it's out to serve. So I'm going to do the rice first. The rice is going to be, as long as it's fluffy, let me just check. Okay, I need a little bit of water in it. Give it a mix. For my rice. All right, looking good. This is my rice. It is, yeah, cast iron. I'm so happy with it. It looks good. It looks cooking nicely. And we've got the lid as well to go on top. So I'm gonna add this, I'm gonna add the rice to the plate. Where's my spoon gone? I've got a big spoon. And there's the rice. A little hole in the centre. Don't know where to put this now. It's a problem. Put a bit more rice on there. You might think, oh my god, that's a lot. Okay, so that's that. Okay, now it's time to uh, put this on. It looks nice. Ten minutes is long enough. This looks really good. So I'm going to start to add this to my to the plate. Oh, look at this. This looks amazing. Want some for myself? <laughs> this is not mine. Bit more chicken on there. There's enough here for four people, let alone two people. 
I think I've done it. I think it's the chicken. So there we have it, everybody. That's the this is the curry. Youngest is using the empty Hello Fresh box as a car. Oh, <laughs> saying that though, I've got plenty of those as well. Not the cars, the um, the actual um, boxes. So right, I'm just gonna bear with me just for a second, everybody, and I'll do my. Should have turned that off as well. So I absolutely love this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add mine on now. There's loads here. Loads of chicken. So if you join me tomorrow, I'm gonna be making tomorrow the Mexican chicken. Well, I might not come live tomorrow, I think. They've seen me do that before many times. Um, oh, yes. I'm really happy with this. <laughs> and there's still some left. It's just getting that sauce. That's what I really love is the sauce. So it's all fresh everybody and I, I will be back on well if i'm not on tomorrow i'll be back wednesday and then on thursday i've got hello fresh arriving myself so there we go everybody as i say normally I have it with naan bread but instead i'm using it so yeah simply cook is is just flavor pots flavor pot subscription so there you go i'm gonna go and eat, eat this uh hi you dear yeah belinese food so um, thanks for watching. I shall see you very soon. So if you like the broadcast, thank you for watching. Oh, you are from Indonesia, wow. So this is just a different take on, on this dish. So with coconut milk. So I'm gonna go and eat this guy. So thanks for watching. If you like the broadcast, you can share and follow and send coins if you wish. So uh, I shall see you all very soon. So enjoy your evening and the rest of your day, everybody. See you soon, bye.